Do you know that there is a maintenance in lactation in animals after it has been established? Yes, there is, and it is called galactopoiesis. Do you want to know about this topic? Then, let's watch this video. Galactopoiesis is the maintenance of lactation once lactation has been established. Two key interrelated components contribute to the maintenance of lactation, galactopoietic hormones, and removal of accumulated milk. Because of the importance of galactopoietic hormones in milk production, sometimes the word galactopoiesis also is used to indicate enhancement of lactation, especially in dairy animals. Inhibition of secretion of key galactopoietic hormones will depress milk production to varying degrees depending on the species, stage of lactation, and the particular hormone being suppressed. The role of galactopoietic hormones such as prolactin in maintenance of lactation is well established. Prolactin is released at the time of milk removal in ruminants and non-ruminants, and it remains a key systemic modulator of milk secretion during lactation. Conversely, growth hormone is generally considered to be the predominant galactopoietic hormone in ruminants. Inhibition of prolactin secretion or administration of prolactin to lactating cows has little effect on milk yields. Growth hormone appears to be especially important in cows whose blood levels of growth hormone are directly correlated with the maintenance and level of milk production. Growth hormone is also known as somatotropin and is synthesized and secreted by somatotropes of the adenohypophysis. Two key interrelated components contribute to the maintenance of lactation, the galactopoietic hormones and the removal of accumulated milk. One such factor that plays a major role in regulating milk secretion in many species is a feedback inhibitor of lactation or FIL that is found in milk. FIL is thought to be produced by the mammary cells as they synthesize and secrete milk. Accumulation of FIL in the milk producing alveoli results in feedback inhibition of milk synthesis and secretion. Well, that's a quite of a long information, right? I hope you have learned from this video. Thanks for watching!